right, guys, here we are with the Placencia Alma Fuerte. I am enjoying it with my friend Rocco. We are having some Rioja in downtown Paris in the 11th district on a little terrace here. Perfect for enjoying the cigar. Um, it's a little pricey. It's about 20 bucks a piece, but we really wanted to be sure to feature this for you guys because I think it hits on something that isn't talked about as much as maybe it should be. And that is in the cigar industry, you have varying levels of cigar production. Now, a lot of cigars, cigar um, brands are getting factories in Nicaragua, Honduras, Dominican, to make their own cigars. They have factories making their cigars for them. Um, then you have factories who are making, obviously, their own cigars in the factories, and then they have their own labels. But they are still buying tobacco from tobacco growers for the most part. Well, with this cigar, we have Nestor Placencia, and he is growing his own tobacco, has his own factory, making his own cigars, and has his own brand, which he no doubt saved the best tobacco, best rollers for this brand. That's why it's been featured for years on some of the best cigar uh, lists, top cigar lists in the world. Um, you know, and it's kind of like Rocco here, he's a songwriter, musician. It's kind of like a Bob Dylan, a Tarantino, Paul Thomas Anderson. Not only are they directing the films, they're screenwriting the films, they're producing the films top to bottom. Wouldn't you say, what would you say, it's like a Bob Dylan? A, a true original from pre-production to the distribution. All the way. And that's important um, because you know they have their hands on the entire process. And you can really see the quality that that allows for in the cigar. Um, so we've got all kinds of flavor. I mean, it's just from top, from first puff to the end, it's got leather, earth, pepper, coffee, transitioning the entire way. Um, so really hope you guys enjoyed this smoke from Paris. We hope you all have a wonderful day. Cheers.